Hi Hans, this is David Potter in Austin, Texas. And this is kind of a tough one. This is a, a copy of your plan <clears throat> as you sent it to me. <clears throat> I've worked on it several times to figure out uh, what to do. Now this is just because my computer is different from yours. I'm just going to click this and cancel. I'm not interested in um, materials definitions particularly. <clears throat> this is pretty much how you sent it to me. And uh, I'm going to go through this one step at a time. And uh, we'll see if we, this doesn't help you. Now, I don't ever use the grid, so I'm going to turn that off. Default settings, plan, and just turn off those, the snap grid and the reference grid. <clears throat> now, the main thing that was wrong, okay, it's just wrong settings. And I say this over and over again, people don't believe me. The program only does what it's told, or by told, part of that telling could be the default settings uh, of the program out of the box. So let's look at the walls. I got this wall here selected. I'm going to open this dialog box. Go to the roof tab. And it's full gable. And that's correct. And this one over here. Also is correctly set to full gable. But what happened was when you <clears throat> went to this wall, so you told it to be a full gable. And because of the geometry of this space, you can't have <clears throat> gables on all sides. And what you want, I think, is a flat roof, or near flat. Uh, home Designer Suite won't draw a flat roof. <clears throat> so I'm going to uncheck this, uncheck that, and let's see, it's grayed out. Go back and try it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want a zero pitch here. And you hit the tab key and see 1.2 uh, millimeters is as close to zero as, as it's willing to get. So we'll click OK. And we've seen a change. We will see a change. Well, let's see. Let me, uh, maybe I didn't turn on auto roofs. I'm going to turn on auto roofs. Build floor, build roof. We'll have auto roofs, auto rebuild roofs on. I'm going to hit F12. Okay. So that's a little bit closer, I think, to what you wanted. Now, of course, we don't want this. And what is that? Let me split the screens here. I'm going to make two screens here and then hit Shift, the Shift key on the keyboard and then F6. So you can kind of watch this as it develops. See, that's an attic wall that was automatically generated. God knows why. I don't particularly care why, why it, it's there, but it's being there is kind of a if you delete it, it'll just come back because the program put it there automatically. See, I deleted it and it came right back. So the thing to do with walls like that, uh, unwanted attic walls, is not to delete them because that doesn't work. <clears throat> this is just telling me I'm doing what I'm doing. So I don't want to see this message again during a session. Click OK. <clears throat> I'm going to make the wall invisible. It's still there, but it's no longer visible. And you'll see that it vanishes out of the uh, camera view. That's a little closer. I noticed you have a little bit of differing materials here. I know this is a little bit off of the point, but I'm going to use the Adjust Materials Definition tool, and that's uh, called Red Brick 5. And this brick over here is called Red Brick 4. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to Edit Default Settings, Materials. And go over to Walls, Exterior. You know, it's set to this green stuff, which you're not even using. So let's 
let's get the program working on, on our team. <clears throat> we'll go down to uh, masonry and stone, brick, there's natural brick. And we'll find that uh, red brick, I think it's four, isn't it? Yeah, uh, well, not the course, but the uh, that. We'll make that the, uh, well, mine's a little bit different from yours. I have not downloaded this material, so I right-click here, click download, make that material assignment. So this way the program knows to make most of my exterior walls this color here instead of uh, some other material. Now that didn't chip, that didn't make that change. <clears throat> I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool and get the uh, red brick four and zap that uh, other material. Yeah, okay. Now you notice uh, we've got this kind of going on, but the the uh, skylights went funny, and we lost this over here. Well, we have to take this one disaster at a time. I intend to do. I'm going to go back over to floor plan, left click, to make this the active screen. We'll go down to the first floor. Let's fix the skylights. All I'm going to do is just tweak them a little bit. Now, when this, I send this back to you, uh, I, I, like this error message here, I'm just going to say, don't show it to me again. I'm not interested in it. I understand that there's problems with the plan, but that should fix that skylight. Why it fixes it, I have no idea. I just know that kind of in a new unit of time, <clears throat> moving it around, it's going to bring it back to battery. Let me line that up a little bit better. You can make this perfect when you get, get the plan back. And then this last one here, I'm just going to move it over here a little bit. So it's just kind of like <clears throat> I nudge the program in the ribs, and, and it says, oh, I've got to do something. Okay, so it just reconstitutes those skylights. Now we got something going on here. Let's see what's happening with that. Now you, <clears throat> I can't select the roof here like I can in uh, in Pro and in Chief, but you can see this flat roof now is going all the way over to here. There's a little sliver of it right there. We'll get to that in a minute. I've got this this projection here. Well, the, let's see what's causing that. Probably this wall here. Yeah, you've got a full gable, and it's we don't want a full gable full gable wall on that side. That's the wrong command. What I want is a high shed gable wall. See, I want this at 1.2 millimeters pitch, and then I want it to slope up here and then create a uh, shed roof. Now, this, I realize it's a little bit hard to think with because you want a flat roof here, but like Sweet doesn't do flat roofs. I'm sorry. <clears throat> And this is the closest that I'm going to be able to come. So let's see what this command does here. And that's this wall over here. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit F12. OK. See, I clean that up. It was just a, it was a conflicting command. The software only does what you tell it to do. And if you tell it to do something paradoxical, then it just goes to pieces. OK. Now, we're still far from... Uh, where you want to end up, but let's go over here and look at this wall. We got a little roof down here, and that's because you told it to <clears throat> extend down. And I understand why you did, but uh, I'm going to take that command out. That'll take out that little roof plane. Let's hit uh, F12 to rebuild. Well, okay, it didn't take it out. <clears throat> It'll eventually come out. Let me check and make sure that it actually complied with the command I gave it. Okay. Now the next thing is to get this roof plane down here where, where we intend it to go. So I'm going to go over to the plan, plan view and go up to the second floor. And I'm going to go to uh, Tools, Reference Floors, Reference Display, so I can see the wall below. Well, this wall here needs to line up with the wall below. That's causing a problem. Not a big problem. And it may not even be what you intend, but I'm I'm talking in terms of what the software has to do in order to get done what I want to get done. It's resisting. Let me zoom in a little bit. I want this over. Sometimes when you zoom in, it's a little bit easier to move things. I don't know if you've noticed that. 
Okay. Now with this selected, I've got this command here. It says align with wall below. I want to align this. Even though it's invisible, I still want to align it with the structural wall below. So we'll click that. That lines it up. Now, you see that roof plane's gone that was down there because that it's finally complied. Something else I should point out here, the software is not real bright and slow-witted. You tell it to do something, sometimes it does it instantaneously, sometimes it takes a, a few minutes. Now we got a new problem here, we got a wall missing. Well again, you gotta kind of keep your wits about you and just try to solve one problem at a time. We got the, this roof flat, we got a roof over here, I don't know if this is a correct, I don't know what you intend there, you can fix that yourself later. <clears throat> but I want to get this roof plane resting down here where you apparently want it. So I'm going to back up. We'll fill the screen over here. Well, that's too much. I'll fill the model. Okay, we got a wall over there. I'm going to have to zoom, just manually zoom in. <clears throat> Let's look at this dialog box. Now, this, this wall that you put in here that's invisible, and you assigned it uh, a knee wall. I know that you were guessing and trying to get it done. Well, this this uh, has nothing to do with anything. I'm just going to delete it. You can bring it back later if you want. This little piece of wall here, I'm going to get rid of that. I want just one single wall going in here. As a matter of fact, uh, one thing that new people don't understand is that uh, a lot of times you'll monkey around with walls just to get the roofs right. And I think it'll be easier for me to just have this as one room. You can draw this wall back in later. I'm going to open this this area's dialog, go to the structure tab. And basically what I want, uh, you can put the ceiling back in later. I'm going to take a ceiling out. I'm going to uncheck default on the roof and finish ceiling values here. I'm going to set this to uh, uh, 12 millimeters. I don't care what this value is, I just want the roof to go where I want it to go. So there's things that you do in Suite and in Essentials 